What's up everybody? Good morning. I am back in Smoky Mountain National Park. I am here to hike a hike I've been trying to do a few times over the last few years, but the road has always been closed due to snow and ice. So today it's a beautiful day. The road was open. So I am just getting my first few steps here in the snow. We are heading up to Klingman's Dome today, the highest point in the Smoky Mountains. To get here, you'll head up Newfound Gap Road or the 441 for about 45 minutes from either Gatlinburg or Cherokee. This will bring you to the junction of Klingman's Dome Road where you can park your car and get going. Hiking up to Klingman's Dome in winter had been on my hiking agenda for quite some while. Foiled the last two years, today was hopefully gonna be my day. Now this is no easy feat. At more than 15 miles round trip, up a steady incline, and with snow, I knew it was going to be a challenge. In the summertime, this hike is only about a mile, so this time of year, it definitely becomes way more challenging, especially now that there's snow. There are some snowshoe and cross-country ski tracks out here, but I'm just in my hiking boots today, so we'll see how it goes. It's probably gonna be a bit slow, but hopefully we make it up there and back before nightfall. Well, the going just got a little bit more tough. All of the footsteps that had uh, been on the trail have now gone, so this means everyone else that hiked this <laughs> turned around a couple hundred feet back there. There are still some cross-country ski tracks, but not a ton of fun <laughs> hiking in this. It isn't just hikers and cross-country skiers that come to enjoy Klingman's Dome, but lots of the winter park visitors who come to see some of the scenic views here, play in the snow, and check out some of the frozen waterfalls. This is a lot of work. <laughs> I'm just taking a little breather here. Whew, first big hike in a long time. And while this is up a road with just this couple inches of snow it's making it really slow but i'm trying to keep a pretty fast pace just because i know how many miles i have to go this morning i pretty much just keep fantasizing about being on cross-country skis and how easy and quick it would be to get back to the car at really any point along this hike <laughs> <laughs> i oftentimes forget how hard it is hiking in snow it's like walking in sand If you do this hike in the winter or even drive up it in the summer, you will notice signs for the Appalachian Trail. The Appalachian Trail actually runs right alongside this road. If you wanted to, you could hike on that right now instead of on this road. But with the conditions that we have out here, there's definitely going to be a deeper snowpack deep into the woods. So I'm going to stick for the road for now. And luckily there's another hiker in front of me packing the trail. One of the little tricks you're supposed to do when hiking when it's below freezing, like today, is drink every few minutes out of your water bladder. See all that? Ice. So things like this don't happen. Now, I actually have a sleeve on this, which usually helps, and I usually put warm water in it. But this morning, this thing is almost frozen solid. Just trying to get a couple sips. Finally just had a beautiful view of the iconic Blue Smoky Mountains and the Blue Ridge Parkway that stretches from this park. So far this hike, because of the snow, has been pretty challenging. You know, I'm just kind of back after my shoulder surgery. It's been six months now, but this is my first hike with my heavy loaded backpack with all my gear, my tripod. So definitely feeling it. The shoulder is sore. My neck is throbbing. My back hurts a little bit. Uh, my legs are tired. So not in as good of shape as usual, but I'm not going to turn around. You know, it's only been two hours so far. Plenty of daylight left today. And I'm going to see you guys at the top of this trail. A couple more miles to go.
Smoky Mountain National Park is one of the most visited parks in America. Last year it brought in a whopping 14 million people. And even in the low seasons, like winter, they're starting to see increases in traffic. Now, this trail up to Clingman's Dome in winter, not that many people are gonna be attempting because of how long it is. And as you can see on a day like today, how challenging it is with the snow. So there's still lots of places you can explore in this park where you're not gonna see a lot of other park visitors. This video today is brought to you by Skillshare, where you can learn how to turn snow into water. Actually, you can't learn that on Skillshare, but there are a ton of things you can learn on Skillshare, from photography and art to interior design, and even how to be confident on camera. If there's something you wanna learn, there's a class for you on Skillshare. And if you sign up at the link in the description, you can get your first month for free. That was a very long hike. <laughs> but we are at the top of Klingman's Dome right now. As you saw on the way up here, this really cool sculptural observation tower just looks out with 360 degree views of all of the Smoky Mountains, some of the Blue Ridge Parkway. For miles and miles, you can see out here today, it is so clear, so beautiful, a little cold. I'm gonna have a snack and then hurry up back down because I've got seven miles to get back to the car and we know it's not gonna be easy. Always, always, always pack a hot beverage on a cold winter hike. If you're planning a visit to the Smoky Mountains and have never been here, make sure you check out my Smoky Mountains travel guides as well. I've got one here on YouTube and one on the blog as well, full of detailed information about what to do, see, and where to stay in and around the park. It's gonna take me an hour to catch my breath. <sighs> As you can see, I'm back at the car. Oh my gosh, what an ass kicker that hike was. Holy moly. Basically 16 miles through the snow the entire way. I got back just before. It's gonna get dark here, so <sighs> I dodged a bullet on that one. Although I was prepared in case I had to hike at night, but nice to get back here for sunset and uh, back to the warm car so i hope you guys enjoyed the video and um i'm not sure that i would recommend this hike to most people but if it's on your bucket list check the weather make sure the road's open there is a twitter channel for smoky mountain road conditions so that you know whether or not 441 which is this road behind me is even open to be able to get up here 
and then just check the forecast know what snow has fallen in the last like couple of days so you can be prepared with snowshoes or cross-country skis if you need them and if you guys have more questions about smoky mountains or hiking in the winter make sure you drop a comment down below thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you in the next video